G'day guys, so he's just pruning himself now, having a nice clean. I thought I'd do a video, another video, just to show you what they do. He's a happy magpie, guys. As you can see, his wings are trimmed. It's not painful, everyone. It's just like cutting hair. Just so he doesn't uh, jump the fence, you know, get taken by a dog or a cat. So, yeah, he's a happy magpie, guys. Year and a half by now. He loves my dogs, especially Banjo. And, uh, yeah, he's so intelligent. Anyway, guys, I'm just doing a bit of gardening right now, topping up all my ponds. Just planted some nice asparagus here, some beautiful asparagus that I had growing, so I've just transplanted my asparagus. I've got them here just to protect them from uh, frosts and so forth. Cleaning out a few little ponds I've got around. Um, trimming the, this is what happens with the native um, water grasses. It's, there he goes again, he's having another swim. What happens is all the roots fill up the water with uh, uh, with all the roots, so the water just sucks up the water to see if Nipper's going to get back in. He will probably. But yeah, anyway, guys, so this is all left over. This is a native grass, I'm sure the species. It's like a another nice native. Oh, not I don't know if this is native, but I've just cut it anyway, fellas. But anyway, all of this is going to go my worm farm. Here it goes. Going to prune himself again. On top of the horse meal, probably. He's got certain places where he likes to uh, prune himself. There he goes on the wheelbarrow. So, guys, we'll show you Nipper when he gets comfortable. Because if I go too fast, you you won't like me approaching him too quickly. Um, but anyway, this is my potato garden, and the asparagus were in with the potatoes. So, don't whatever you do, fellas, don't ever plant asparagus with potatoes. I planted them there because the potatoes hadn't sprouted yet. Um, I just, you know, later on I found out you don't plant them with potatoes. Well, anyway, Nipper's gone again. My beautiful uh, Takasasti tree, guys. Look at it, it's coming in flower. So this is where my chook pen's going to be one day, hopefully. Flowers once a year. This is a beautiful tree from the Canary Islands. Uh, Perfect for a chook pen, so my chicken pen's going to go there. I've already got the chicken pen already. A few more slight adjustments, but one day we'll maybe get some chickens. But yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful, this tree, when it's uh, like that. You know, it's like a... Um, how it just droops down all the leaves and that. And soon, this tree's going to be literally covered in mil... Well, not millions, but probably, you know, tens of thousands of bees. There's already bees coming, but, you know... And the good thing about having a Tagasasti tree too, guys, is uh, it'll create beautiful seeds. It puts a lot of nitri nitrogen in the, into the ground, into the soil and so forth. And uh, all the seeds drop to the ground. You know, it's just perfect for, uh, for the chickens to eat. And, you know, during summer, really, really um, nice and cool for the chickens. There's Nipper. So he's not really that comfortable with me looking at him. There he goes. I'll go and find a spot. But anyway, guys, that's what I'm doing at the moment. And uh, this beautiful, this you can actually eat this, fellows. I've left these to grow here deliberately just to attract bees and insects and so forth. Um, I forget what it's called, guys, but you can eat these leaves. It's like a spinach from the spinach family, probably even the flowers, you know, medical uses and so forth. And, uh, yeah, this is my new aquarium, what I've just basically finished. What well, I caught these tadpoles the other day, guys. All the beautiful water bugs and everything else. The rowboats, the big black cockroach type um, water bug in there, but I haven't seen that yet, but it'd be, it'd be around. But, yep, so that's what I'm doing, guys. Just absolutely love my frogs and tadpoles. Well, they're beautiful, these tadpoles. Look at them. Looking at me. So, yeah, this is my lifesaver, guys. Like my mate uh, Dale said to me, 
just get in the garden like St. Francis of Assisi. And uh, just a beautiful thing you said. And uh, it's really, really true, guys. Get in the garden and just keep busy. Do stuff, especially if you're under a lot of stress. So. And these will turn into beautiful big banjo frogs. I think they're banjo frog species. So. All made by God, guys. No accident that these are here on this beautiful earth of ours. Everything's created by God. Alright, thanks everyone for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Just keep them busy to keep my mind occupied. And it's been really good so far. All my. See you soon. Bye.